All right, guys. Well, today I have a treat for us. Um, I drive by this place almost every day. It's just down the street. And I'm always marvel at some of the cars that he has out here. Um, it's like going to a, a, a little mini car show every time I drive by. But we are here at Gumby Performance. So we're here in Leander. got a shop here. You see quite a few stalls there. That's his main shop. It's right here by the road. And we get to come over here, talk to the guy real briefly, and uh, and take a look at some of his cars. And here's the man. Um, this is his shop. He does some excellent work. And I know he's a busy guy. Say hi. All right. He's a busy guy, and uh, so I'm not going to take up a whole lot of his time. But uh, if you want to take a look at more of his stuff, you can see it on his Facebook page. It's uh, Gummy Performance. And, uh, but let's take a look at some of the cars. Yeah, so I think we're going to walk around and take a look at some of these vehicles. Some of them are awesome. Um, like, yes. Let's take a look at the ones that are right by the street so that uh, uh, before traffic builds up or anything like that. So look at that joker. Street Rod V8. How nice is that? And the interior is nice. Pretty cool, huh? Nice wooden bed. Old right by the new, huh? And let's walk over here. Some of these old Broncos there. Old Chevy. Is this a 63 or 62? It's not a split window. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I, I guess it's like a 62 or so, right? Maybe a 64. Pretty nice. Look at that. Blown 65, so that answers our question. It's a 65. Man, that is super nice, isn't it? And right next to it here, look at this little. God dang, that is a huge engine. I think I have seen this one before. I can't remember when, but uh, it sure looks familiar. Oh, here's another one with uh, with the roll bars. Looks like there's still a lot of work to be done on this one. 
with the old fox body. Here's a Trans Am. Hood's up here. Work in progress. I'll bet they're in there rebuilding the engine. Yeah, you can see them in the garage there. Interior is pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> Guess they're going to get this one out. this Mustang. I have seen this one before too. Oh look at that, Washington plates. That one had California plates. Washington plates, I used to live in Washington for a little while. Look at these Mustangs. I, I've always wanted a Mustang. Well I used to have one. And that was back in the, what, the late, I guess the late, uh, late 80s, early 90s, I had a 65, but uh, I was moving around a lot and it just wasn't convenient. I wish I would have put it in storage, so I sold it off. Man, I wish I could replace it, you know. Someday, someday. A lot of old Fords. There's an old Chevy with the scoop on the hood. Wonder what's down in there. And I think the rest of it, uh, yeah, there's a few back here too. Yeah, there's a Toyota Land Cruiser. I've always loved these things. That'd be cool. That's a frame engine. I wonder what that's doing. It looks like a truck, doesn't it? Look at that. any major rust throughs does it wow well, there's a nifty way to to keep your compressor dry huh it's the Ford hood Ford F250 <laughs> That's one way to do it. Well, here they are hard at work. I'm not going to bother them. Just the two here and I'm sure they're very busy. But that's a pretty nice Mustang too. Uh, nice. And is that a Nomad? A Chevy Nomad? I think so. How cool is that, huh? And up at the top there. Yeah, you can see they do some excellent work here. 
It's awesome. There's the man again. All right, thanks a lot, guys. And we'll see you again next month. So I thought I'd just drop by and uh, show you guys what I see almost every day out here. And if you like this, let me know. Because um, after every couple of weeks or every month, you know, I can drive by here. And he has another batch of cars out here that he's working on. Some of them, uh, but I'll probably be, ba be back, and we'll see it again. Just let me know if you liked what you see. It'll be like seeing a, a, a little mini car show every month. I think I'm going to try to do it on the 15th of every month. So, well, I guess that is it for now. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.